my channel. My name is Nifty Tippy. Thank you for joining me. I have changed my setup here a little bit, so hopefully you like my background. The topic of today's video is at home. We're quarantined right now, and I have a few ideas and tips for you. Things that you should be working on now that you're home. One of the things we should really think about is all this time we have on our hands. We're really lucky at this point for those of you who are home and you're safe and you're thinking of, hey, I have all this time. What I should be, what should I be doing with my time? Um, for those of you who have children, it might be a little harder. I know it's definitely hard for me sometimes, but on the downtime, I do have some time for myself. So what should you be doing with your time? And here's my tips. The first thing you should think about is learning. Hopefully you can read my handwriting. Um, learning, learning something new, learning something that um, you've been putting off for a while and maybe explore taking a course online, reading a new book that you've always wanted to read. Now you have some time, put a few minutes a day into it. So learning, so what I mean by learning is either taking a new course, reading new books, going to school, which can kind of work out with courses. What I mean is going to school online. Right now, certain universities are giving free courses. I will put that clip right here. You can see a little bit of information on those free courses. It says I typed in free courses due to COVID-19. There's a bunch of courses online that you can take absolutely for free just do a search we can find some for a limited time Coursera offers free certifications for 115 courses here is the full list free online courses due to coronavirus let's click on that free learning due to coronavirus so it says here there is free courses about COVID-19 as coronavirus spread universities started launching free online courses about the pandemic you can find the full list uh, course list here so let's click, click on that so now it says 30 plus free online courses and conferences about coronavirus but I'm curious if there's any other topics um, besides um, COVID-19 so it looks like a lot of it has to do with the pandemic okay it sounds very interesting something that anyone that's probably in the medical field or the science field or anything related to that would be able to take these courses for free that can actually benefit them in the workforce and maybe add to your resume so it is something very beneficial so let's take a look at the other links let's go back free courses how about just free courses hmm Harvard let's see let's see really let's see Ooh. Okay, so CS50 Introduction to Game Development. Learn about development of 2D and 3D interactive games in this hands-on course as you explore design. Okay, so it says free. Okay, so we'd have to check if there's any other fee, but seriously, free course on gaming. That's pretty awesome. Okay. Yeah, mostly programming, so that's really good for people who want to learn gaming and programming and Python and JavaScript things of uh, different courses. So I'm just gonna backspace Harvard and I'm gonna put in with a certificate. Free courses online with a certificate. So 20 best free online certifications and courses. Free certification courses, Stanford University, Harvard, we just looked at lynda.com. I mean, Udemy has great courses. Free Python courses, that's more techish IT certifications, free Google courses. So let's just write free courses. Now, the second thing I would tell you to do, and I think it's really important for everyone out there who is trying to earn extra income or is thinking about earning extra income and maybe creating a side hustle, is to work on developing your skills in pursuing your side hustle. Skills for side hustles. So developing your skills, just like reading a book and taking courses, think of things that you need to learn 
what your business is about or maybe developing your side hustle even further. For people, um, for folks out there who are thinking about maybe becoming an accountant, there are accounting courses. There are certain tests that you have to take to become a CPA or for anyone who wants to be a bookkeeper, you know, learning QuickBooks is, for example, learning a software. So learning a software, that should go here, things that are going to help you with your side hustle or your business. In order to really develop those skills, you have to jump in and really dive in and learn more about it. YouTube, obviously YouTube has great resources. They do have great resources. There's great content out there for you to learn and develop your skills and other people have made those amazing videos. So if you're thinking about it, go on YouTube, do some searches before you fully dive in and paying for a full course. See what other people say about it. Get the reviews on what other people have said about the courses and also read the reviews on the books. Pertaining to developing skills for your business or side hustle, it's really important to develop skills in general. We never stop learning. It's really good if you just make a list. Think about the things that you would need to know in order to develop that. First thing I would say, again, is learning. Take your courses, take a new course, take a free course, and I've given that information to you. Also going to school, taking maybe a new course, a new class online, or going physically to the school, if at all possible. So what else should we be doing with our time? Everyone out there is really tough. You can't really go anywhere. I know the whole country is on lockdown, but at the same time, there are places that are starting to warm up and open up and um, the governors are slowly opening up the economy. So what is it, what else can you do at home? Develop your skills, but mentally. So the third one I would say is mental health. I'm really bad at writing on a board. <laughs> okay, so mentally, spiritually develop. Taking care of yourself. Now you have some time in your house, read more about maybe self-help books, spiritual books, books that are uh, spiritual, maybe in your religion. If you read the Bible or you read Bhagavad Gita or you read your Quran, maybe develop yourself even spiritually and maybe try meditation. Uh, just silent places. Think about a silent place you want to be in your home to just relax and breathe and take in good energy. So if you do this and let's say we break it down, there are three things I think that you should develop and work on. Learning, skills, developing your skills, and I guess learning and skills are kind of the same thing, but skills specifically for your side hustle. We know the economy shut down and it's really hard on, on millions of people, especially for the people that are not working who were uh, let go um, from their jobs. And it would be really good if you develop a skill that would help you. Where do I say go from here? Try one of these things out and how would you do it? It's involved in doing these things, but really breaking it up. So I will show you that now. Hopefully I'm not boring you with all this uh, talk about creating a side hustle. But if you're saying, you know what, I don't have uh, certain skills or I don't know what I want to do. Try drawing a mind map, or I think there's they call it some other things, but I call it a mind map. You might say, I don't have certain skills, or I don't really know what I want to do, and I only know one trade, or I only know one kind of work. I only do one certain job. I'm not sure what to do. So I would start off with this, a mind map. So draw a circle in the middle, and I would put what should I do like my smiley face oh, so I'm an artist I'm really an artist I don't have the skills so what is it that I want to do I like to help people you start off with that you want to help people you want to do um, amazing things you want to help people feel better okay maybe you like to draw to um, fix things Start off with your mind map and just start writing the things that you're good at and what makes you feel joy. Attending, attending temple or church. Um, giving donations. I mean, some people really like doing that. Um, what else? This might be in volunteering. Maybe you're volunteering, that, that brings you joy. 
you're good at software, maybe you're good at software, you do this and you come up with other things that you can pull towards your, you know, other part of your mind app. So you'll just continue. So if you like to volunteer or you're looking to volunteer, you're thinking about that, that's something you want to do, but you're just not sure. I would say put a line here and then write nonprofit. Look into nonprofit organizations that will fulfill that idea or that um, dream that you have of, of being a volunteer. If you're an artist, how can you take that art and make it into a business? Um, go on Etsy. Look at the handmade items. Look at all the art, um, Etsy.com. Type in it, let's say if you like maybe art on canvas, paintings. See what is what is out there and see the reviews and see what other people think of it. What are people looking for? So be looking into a nonprofit or even starting one. Even starting a nonprofit. That might be something. Maybe you fix things. Maybe if you fix fix things or you fix a car, maybe you you know, you go on YouTube, there's plenty of people on there that likes to fix things and they make a YouTube channel out of it. That can be something that might be great for you too. It's really something to consider. Okay, so you've got your mind map. Let's just pick one of the items. Let's pick artists. Let's say you're an artist. So now you're gonna take your mind map even further. So now you've, you've figured out, you know, I wanna do something with art. You wanna find out your target market. You can look at Etsy, look at Google, you can do Google searches, you can do keyword searches. And if, especially um, TubeBuddy, if you have TubeBuddy, you can also check out TubeBuddy. I'll also include a link below. Think about, you have to really come up with all the different avenues that you need to touch on. So you're gonna do your research, you gotta figure out what other people are looking for on Etsy and check out other websites, maybe even eBay. And I'll also check on Amazon, largest online retailer. They also have a handmade section, people create things handmade. So that's what I would do if I was an artist and I was looking at how to treat my side hustle as a business. And I know a lot of people online, they don't treat it as a business. You know, just start off and giving good content don't have that idea of um, treating it as a business from the get-go. I think they're wrong. Treat it as a business. Treat it as a business from day one. Because if you're treating it as a business, it will develop, it can grow, you'll make mistakes, but you'll learn from them. If you're just treating it as a hobby, then it'll just be a hobby. You need to know how you can profit from, let's say you're offering services on Etsy, um, or you're offering your products on Etsy and you're an artist and you're creating these paintings or whatever the art is, you should really think about how you can monetize that and maybe bring it to other platforms. What platforms am I talking about? I will tell you now. You're gonna be spending time at home, what you're gonna create and how to create it and get into the nitty gritty, but also you shall learn social media, Pinterest, uh, Twitter, Facebook, and TikTok. You don't have to learn all four, but you should have, I would say two at least, or even one starting off, so they can funnel back to your brand. So if you're talking about what you do on YouTube, funnel it back to your website. If you don't have a website and you have an Etsy store, funnel it back. Funnel it back. Just giving you the basics here, but really when you're thinking about learning new things and trying out new things, this is one of the things that I would say is to develop your side hustle and really think about what is gonna go into it and how to get it done. So that's what I wanted to tell you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them below and uh, give me a like. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one.